No reira, i tēnei wā, kei te huri au ki taku tino hoa, taku tuahine, taku hoa pūmau, mai ngā tau maha ki muri. Taku whanau ngā hoki, ki ngā te pūkiko, ngā tai whakaia hoki, te tai hononga ona. Ko mate heitia, tēnei, e, whan, e te whanau, um, he wahine tino kaha, he wahine pūmau anō ki ona whakapono. He wahine uh, kaha ki te kai, ki te whāngai i āna tamariki mokopuna i ngā kai tika o te whenua. Me te tautoko hoki i tāna hoa tāne a Sunny. Sunny heitia, ko Warren te tahi ingoa tika tūturu ona. I know too much about this whānau, eh, so... <laughs> Oh yeah, no, um, he kaupapa tino miharo rawatu tā mate, uh, e pāna ki te whakatipukai, e pāna ki te hora i te kai tika. Tell us all about your kaupapa today. Kia ora wai, um, thank you for the kōrero and thank you Annie for uh, um, inviting me here to talk about Rika and Rika Kura. So Rika uh, was um, originally um, created to address the health issues of our people. Um, Māori are dying of uh, degenerative diseases, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, asthma and obesity is at um, an epidemic rate, uh, even with our tamariki. Now that's because we are not eating the kai of our tipuna. So Rika was, uh, Rika was created using a kupu that we all understand, Rika, to align us immediately to Kai. Well, that was my little bit of uh, time uh, in communications and marketing with my FM in, in Auckland, so it taught me to do those kinds of things. So I used Rika as a kupu to alert our whānau that this is all about Kai. And as you know, we launched in 2008 at Tuteao Marae and then at uh, Te, te Paho Marae, Mai Marae in, in Pukeko uh, Rohe. Um, and we tested Tested out growing kai with the permaculture uh, ropu. Um, we then did another five of uh, uh, four or five years, and also we. Um, oh, and during that time, uh, I presented our mahi at Te Farewananga, and. Uh, Yes, Te Whareuananga o Awanui Rangi, definitely. And um, at the time, the CEO there was distinguished Professor Graham Smith. And uh, he called me into his room the next day and I thought, oh, heck, what have I done in this conference? And he kept me in there for two hours talking about my kaupapa. And uh, he wanted me to join research. So as you know, I ventured into that area uh, because I found that doing the practical mahi was great. But um, I wasn't getting any support. Sunny and I weren't getting any support from the kawanatanga. It's a, it's a lot like, oh, you know, we want to do by Māori for Māori. But it was like they didn't trust us, that we don't know. So um, I, I was running around getting funding here and there. Eight marae is quite, you know, quite a lot to do. And I had tutors from, as you know, why I asked you along. We were teaching te reo. We were teaching haora, um, exercising. We were teaching te reo we were teaching how to grow kai we were teaching how to eat good kai and so of course as you were raised like I was you were raised on River 2 Road and our our, our, our street off there our road Paho Pa Road is just off there I and we were all brought up on our beautiful kai. Mm. Our parents fed us from the whenua. And um, that's probably why we were so such hotatus with sport. Yeah. So we played a lot of sport. Bakari. Tino. Bakari. Uh, we were hard out into sport. Um, and Shelley came along in my 20th year at the gym. Mm. I'm still a, 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 I still go there. And still I've a seen, member? Yes, Jeez. I'm still a member. Shame. I'm probably the <laughs> oldest member there behind Robin Fleming who's the, um, mm. she's the signature um, fitness trainer there. Yeah, right. But anyway, you know, uh, it, like Shelley says, it's about um, looking after myself to be able to look after my whanau and 
look after my uh, mokopuna. You know, I mean, I know you, you know, it's difficult being a working mother, but um, we don't seem to get those, uh, well, we don't have those salaries where us wahine can stay home. I know I would have loved to have stayed at home and just looked after my kids, mm. but it wasn't practical. Mm. So we all had to do that and... Um, it's not easy as mm. a wahine Māori, um, looking after yourself so you can look after your your tamariki mm. and your tāne. Mm. You know, a lot of our mothers are struggling mm. without a tāne, mm. um, and we have some lovely ones. Kia you ora. know, we've got Aye. some lovely tāne Aye. that support us. Cool. And um, lucky for me, Sunny has been the gardener, mm. and he loves it, and he's very good at it. Um, so Rika was, uh, yep. Yeah, uh, delivered in eight marae. We went, we did six in uh, Ngāti Awarohe, then I tested it up in Auckland uh, in the city to see how that went and it went really well. Then I thought, oh, let's go to the other extreme and we went to Ruatahuna and tested it up there. And they were very clever, those those people. So my husband, of course, Sonny has that uh, history of uh, construction. He was a, did our light engineering. And if you come to our place, we look like uh, Green Acres with all the uh, things that, that he's he made. He used to panel beat, and sp- uh, panel beat and spray paint cars. Now he's doing exactly that, but with his garden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's pretty creative and, and good with his, with his hands. So... Um, Rekha then moved on to Rekha Kura, and that's uh, that's where we are at today. So the research that we've done since 2016 was a way of affecting policy. So we wanted all the government officials to look at the policy. So we've done all this research, and we've actually put together... Rekha Trust has just finished a research project uh, collaborating with Te Puna Ora o Mātātua and Te Whare Wānanga o Awanui Arangi and um, the Atafai o Te Ao in Whanganui. Mm. So we've just put together a framework mm. that shows what the food sovereignty and the food security is, the framework for all organisations to follow so that our people are able to feel empowered, um, they can feel good about getting back on their whenua, mm. and we relate that to the Atua. So the Atua is, uh, you know, there's no health system, but the health system that the tipuna laid down for us. Nice. And that, that health system is the kai. Mm. We've gone off that, and we're going towards the American kai. Nice. I know people don't like me saying it, and I'm teased about it, but I think it's all in good fun. Mm. But KFC, mm-hmm. Makatanara, <coughs> Burger mm. King, nice. it's so bad for our tamariki. So, yeah. So Rika Kura has been... Uh, it's been created to introduce our tamariki to fresh kai, seasonal kai. And seasonal, seasonal kai, is, it's so clever how nature... Aye. Well, what, the, what nature does is it, it gives you the fruit that's ripe at the right time to give you the right vitamins and minerals to fight off illness. That's why the lemons and the oranges and the kiwi fruit and the and the fijo is all ready so that you can fill yourself, fill your body with vitamin C. Um, Rika Kura also uh, promotes te reo, we want a tikanga. And we also like uh, Kura to talk about local history as we've got our, our kōrero at Matirero about Toroa and Puhi that all our tamariki should know. Uh, Rika Kura also encourages Māori values of aroha, manaki, Tautoko, Afi, and the ideals of Toha Toha and Tuakana Taina. The ideals we were raised. And uh, most importantly is that we promote sustainable living and healthy lifestyles. Mm. Oh, atahua, atahua, ngā kōrero, ngā wawata, engari kia hau e hara te wawata. Aye. Ko whakatina na hia e kōrua ko Sunny. Neha? Aye. You and Sunny have, uh, have, have brought this kaupapa back to the fore. The kaipapa is our wellness of whānau oh. by, by um, ngā kaitika. And kaititika, yes, you're right. You're, our parents, everyone's parents need to whānau. Back in the 60s, we were raised in the 60s, 70s, all grew gardens. Yeah. We had paddocks of it. Yeah. Half a trailer load would be going up to Taifakaya and wherever else. Absolutely. Yeah? And our parents would pedantically be always planting, Aye. be always sorting, the erua out, you know? and of course, by the time we got to 18, we were all hoha. 
Aye. We wanted to go out, you know, and not not sit at home and and, and separate seats. Mm. <laughs> yeah. mm. Na na riwai. Aye. More hey uh, kai nai nai. Yeah. So there was riwai and kumara that you would eat first, and those were the ones imotsu, the Aye. ones that were cut, Aye. and leave the nice prized ones in the rua for for because they would um, have a duration of life. Aye. Yeah. So I remember our dad, whenever we would come back, we'd have a puke, a puke na kai. They would have, you know, mats of it and all drying out before Aye. they were put into the in, into the, the shed. Put my head there with a raro fee, with um, bricken, bricken fern, bricken fern to help keep the air through. That's about all I know, Farno. <laughs> but those memories but we were are brought the up one. with those principles. We yeah. were also brought up with big long paddocks full of roads Aye. and roads, nga apo, marakai. We never had hoses in those days. Aye. We didn't have hoses, our water came from the puna. Mm. Those of us who lived in the country, Aye. our water came from a puna, a spring. And luckily when the hose had come down into a tank stand, and as kids, you know, um, I guess our young generation don't know what flagons are. <laughs> <laughs> flagons, you know, they would buy beer, you know, our, our koros and that would have beer, but the flagons were actually the containers that we would fill water. And we all, like we had many siblings, to a kanataina, mm. and you'd all get one and you'd have to go and water the plants, Natipu. Uh, that's how, how we were brought up. But uh, once the supermarkets, I think, came within our, um, within our communities, kind of took away all of that, all, all, all of, um, and of course in your research you would have found all of this Aye. out. Yeah. And so uh, Rick is revitalising yeah. those memories, because unless we connect our tamariki to the whenua mm. through kai, they're not going to look after it. Why would they? Mm, mm, Why would they? Mm, I love kina. I did, I did. So I don't like the seas being dirty. Mm. I love my puha and mm. watercress, uh-huh. and I love the kai from the tree. So mm. unless they do, mm. kwena, mm. that's our future whānau. So it's not just about wanting to just mm. uh, change things mm. back mm. if we don't. Mm. Mm. Me he huarahi ne. Ah. He huarahi. It's a cycle. Aye. A cycle of, of kaitiakitanga. Yeah. Look after that from which sustains you. Aye. Yeah. So and that so, it will be there for the generations to come. Aye. Mm. And so what we've built in Tereka is that we deliver our kopapa based on the growth mm. of a seed. Mm. So we start from the seed, mm. through to the seedling, through to the ripe fruit. And what we're doing is teaching, of course, as mm. I said, the kayako. So what we're teaching the kayako is that a child can see the growth of a plant, mm. of a tree, and they will see that that tree, that plant needs sunlight, mm. it needs water, and it needs care. And this is our way of empowering our tamariki so they can think in their minds, why am I not growing right? Mm. I'm not getting the sunshine, mm. all those things that they need to tipu ora. Poi poi a te kākano, kia pua wai. So kia kaha e te whānau, tēnō pai um, uh, a te wā, kā rungo anō kouta. You guys will all hear um, more about reka kai in mm. the very near future. In the very near future. Aye. It will hit the schools of Ngāti Awa. Aye. Okay, to take it there now. Uh, well, we're launching it. Uh, so we are launching at the end of July. Mm. Uh, we're running workshops okay. and we will have online services for um, any kura. So mm. any kayako of, of kōhanga, kura kaupapa, kura tuarua, um, rika kura is designed for you. Um, so no my haramai, um, you can email me yeah. at mate mm. at reka dot org dot nz. Isn't that awesome, Fano? <laughs> and that's an awesome way to round up our day today for Fire Up. Yeah. Yeah. Kia ora, e te wii.